Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. You know, I was at Pebble Beach this year, and they have this display area called Automobilia. And it's just all kinds of cool stuff, models, old license plates, magazines, posters, things of that nature. But I saw these models that were so impressive. I, I said, if you guys are ever in L.A., please, I want to show people on the website. This is Tom Long. Tom, how hey, you doing? Great, Jay. Uh, and, and you're the distributor, right? Yes. We're the North American agent and distributor for right. Amalgam. Amalgam. Yeah. Amalgam fine model car. That's it. Yeah. And these are not cars that you put together in a kit, obviously. I mean, no. it's pretty amazing. And you, and you, uh, you will build a car to an owner's specifications, correct? Yes. Yes, okay. we will. A lot of new Ferraris, when they're ordered, or other brands of supercars, are ordered with custom interiors, carbon fiber treatments, colors, right. wheels, calipers. We make that exact replica for the customer. And a lot of these Ferraris actually have more miles on them than the real Ferraris. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> That's probably true. Okay. I mean, we'll show you some attention to detail. And you do F1 cars as well? Boy, this, I mean, you would think you were looking at a real F1 car. I mean, if I was to have a camera I, I, you can always yeah. convince people that this is not a model at all. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> they are very good replicas, and we do most of the F1 team models. We also make a one-to-one -one F1 steering wheel okay. that's so real, Ferrari uses those models on their exhibit cars. And this company is based in England, correct? Yes, Bristol, UK. You know, the English do this stuff better than anybody else. You know, it rains so much over there, you're yeah. stuck indoors. <laughs> So you just got to do something, yeah. you know. You can't be out driving around your car. It's pouring rain. It's foggy. It's miserable weather. So let's build some incredible models. Yeah. And that's what they do. These are assembled in England. Well, this is the one that really knocked my socks off because I own a Lamborghini Muir. And uh, there are some parts on this car. I wish I could put on my car, but as you can see, they're obviously a little too small. <laughs> uh, I mean, the door latches work. Everything works just like the real car. Just like it? the real car. The mechanisms are as true to scale and operation as the real deal. In fact, there's even a few drops of oil under it just yeah. to give you that true Lamborghini <laughs> Mirror feeling. I mean, geez, it's, it's pretty. And how many hours to build something like this? It's 250 to 300, depending on the part count. Some models have 3,000 parts and take a long time to right, put right. together. Wow. Uh, we use a lot of different materials, yeah. real rubber, right. uh, stamped steel, bolts and nuts, real springs, a lot of to scale parts. So if I had a car like one of the, any one of these cars mm -hmm. here, what, your guys would come down, take pictures, take, measure, do whatever is necessary? Scan the car, take pictures. We'd have to do some disassembly and scale photograph the parts. Right. But eventually we could make an exact replica of any of these cars in, in your You know, it'd be fun. Remember that guy? that had the, Honda, the little Honda 600 and he put the uh, motorcycle engine in it, this kind of rat looking butt. It'd <laughs> be fantastic. <laughs> Build one of those. Just, just uh, it'd be hilarious. But uh, just look at, look at all the attention here. What, what can we open up on this? On this, okay. the, the F1 cars are pretty much static. Okay, those static. Nothing opens. This on one? this LaFerrari, the doors actually open with latches like the real car. Right. Little gas shocks to hold the doors open. Little gas shocks. Yep. And then the uh, engine detail is wow. incredible. Look at that. The carbon fiber is especially interesting because to get that to scale is very tricky. I but they're it able be, to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they've got it down. These are real clamps on here. But the thing about miniaturizing anything is that you see all that detail in one little snapshot right. compared to looking at a real car. I think that's one thing that's intriguing to people, kids our age, that, yeah. you know, like the toys. Well, you know, the, the number of people gathered around this, because I went into the automobilia thing, and there's, you know, all kinds of interesting stuff, and I saw this crowd of people, hey, what are they looking at? And people were just transfixed. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, Pretty, what's, what's the hardest one you've had to build? Is there any one that's... Well, I'm from, I understand that the uh, blower Bentley has the most parts and oh, the most sure. uh, mesh screens, a lot of intricate parts right. that are very difficult to assemble. And at 300 hours of assembly right. time, you can imagine the, the challenge. Well, I mean, so, and, and what do these models go for? What's the average price? F1 cars are around $6,000. Right. This car, custom built, is 7000 if we tailor build it. Right. And then some like that Lamborghini are 10000 Wow. Wow. Yeah. You know, I remember when you could buy the actual car for that, but that's a long time. <laughs> that's a long time ago. A long time ago. It is a long time ago. Wow, it's, it, it's, 
You know, Jay, there's so much work in, that goes into one to get them accurate. The price points end up being where they are. We sure. kind of build to a level of quality and then see how much it costs, and that's what the price ends up yeah, being. Yeah, because it's, it's not as if you have a mold when you start, when you just, someone right. comes through with, this is my personal car, you know, so maybe it makes yeah. a great Father's Day gift or yeah. gift for your husband or something. And it, well, it's, it's and they're limited numbers. Uh, 200's a typical production number. This one's 500 because that's how Ferrari, how many Ferrari made. Oh, okay. So you don't make any more than the real that's deal. That's it. And we stop at that number. And so it adds to the value. But I think most of our clients keep the models. Even if they sell the car, they keep the model. Every, each one comes with a clear acrylic cover, so you get to yeah. keep it nice. And now, then, did, have you done any P1 McLarens yet? Yes, we have. Well, you have. We can do that for you, Jay, and I saw that car in there. Yeah, yeah very nice. It's, it's... Hey, here's a neat feature, too. After the model's built, we can add lighting. Headlights, taillights, turn signals, brake lights, interior lights, all programmable to go through a sequence. Oh, okay. And when you see this in a in dark and the lights come on, you swear it's a real car. So yeah. we can Wow. I mean that's it's pretty amazing. Thank it's, you. It, it's Thank uh, you. just beautiful, beautiful work. I mean and what is the material? We use this is resin. Okay. The body's resin. Okay. But the buffing and polishing process is very, very intricate. That's how you end up with this finish. We get paint uh, match codes from the factory. The factories provide us with the build sheets. Okay. So we get uh, everything right. Well, yeah, it's just an amazing level. This is a long way from the Ravel, <laughs> you know, with the plastic thing and you got to punch it out and, yeah. and, you know, and the glue sticks on your finger. Then you put yeah. an M80 in it and you roll into your right. sister's room and it blows up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, these are not those no. kind of models. You don't do that with <laughs> this at all. These are really just, I mean, they're really s sculptures. You know, I, I go into some of these antique shops and I see a little glass thing and it's twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars and I don't yeah. quite get it yeah. this actually makes sense I could see why it would cost so much because just the level of detail yeah. just putting it, <sighs> it it's incredible and you're right the sculptures are nice but so, quite often they're more expensive and not right. nearly as much fun to play with that's right see that honey see? <laughs> there you go some stupid sculpture we can have a car <laughs> in the living room there you go and how great would that be a car in the living room instead of that stupid sculpture Thank you, Jay. Now, what hold, uh, is, is there a glue? Do you use some special kind of? All it? kind of adhesives. Okay. Uh, a lot of adhesives. Some of uh, actually bolted in together, but mostly adhesives for most everything. Yeah. Uh, there's um, a lot of different techniques now that have come yeah. along, even since we started in business. So you figure at 10 bucks an hour, <laughs> you're making maybe 20 bucks an hour to build one of these models. Yeah, that's, that's about, that's about yeah. right, right? Yeah. Sure, that's I about, which, about that. But, I yeah. mean, if you went to, there's no craftsman that'll work for 20 bucks an hour. No. I mean, that's, that's pretty, and that's really no. what it comes down to. If you commission somebody to make a model of your car, and they certainly wouldn't yeah. have this level of detail. That's where the, the English are, they, they just do mm -hmm. such good work in this type of thing. So yeah. I've, you know, I've seen a couple of English model makers, guys that spend like five years building a car. Yeah. You know, the whole life, 40 hours a yeah. week, that's all they do. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Because, well, I'm, I'm going to let you feast your eyes on some of the details here of these. And if they want to get in touch with you guys, what's the website? It's finemodelcars.com. Finemodelcars.com. And what does this name mean, by the way? Amalgam. Amalgam. You probably heard the dentist use this term when you got your teeth filled. Okay. It actually means the best of all things Amalgam. combined. Okay. Oh, okay. But it is, uh, it is a dental term of the best chemicals combined to fill your teeth. I yeah, think. okay. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll but stick with fine model cars. Yeah, thank you. I like that better, but, too. Tom, thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. How cool is that? <laughs>